What's going on everybody? It's Joe here with Deranged. So, as I've mentioned before in other videos, you probably know already, we're working on a Pro XP build, and we're also headed out to Sand Hollow uh, for UTV takeover here pretty quick. Uh, so we've got a bunch of stuff we're doing for the uh, Razer Pro XP build. We hope to have it ready by UTV takeover, but if I'm being honest with you guys, I'm not sure that's gonna happen. We'll see. Uh, all I gotta say is supply chain issues. Uh, but with that said, uh, there are some things that we want to do to the Talon before I get out there. And there are a couple things that I've wanted to do for a long time. The biggest thing is I want to go to a 5.2 wheel offset to get it a little bit wider. Um, so I have a little bit more stability with rock climbing or crawling anyway. And uh, I also want to put bead locks on it. I run pretty low pressure at about 8 pounds, uh, somewhere around there 8 to 10 pounds. So with running that low of pressure, I've never popped a bead. but it is a concern for me uh, popping a bead. Uh, I'd rather not carry a, a spare and go through the process of putting a bead on and all that kind of stuff while I'm on uh, the, uh, when I'm on the trail. So with that in mind, we reached out to uh, Rocky Mountain ATV. Um, we have an affiliate uh, program with them set up where you can uh, you know, use our link to purchase products there and get just about anything you need. But we reached out to them and said, hey, uh, we're working on this Pro XP build. Um, there's a couple things we would like to do to the Talon. Um, you know, what kind of deal can we put together for some stuff? So as you can see, they sent us some new Tusk Megabyte tires that we're gonna put on the Honda Talon. And we also picked up some uh, Tusk beadlock wheels. So in today's video, we're gonna get those installed, put together, and I'm gonna give you my first impressions of the Tusk Megabyte tires and the Tusk beadlock wheels. I think they're Uinta. I think that's what they are, but we'll look at that here in a second. But I'm uh, gonna give you our first impressions. Uh, we will do kind of a full review on that. Keep in mind, uh, we will always give you our honest opinion regardless, uh, just like we have with the Tusk Terabytes but they did give these tires to us. We did not pay for these tires. So um, just wanna make sure you keep that in mind. We wanna be upfront with that and everything, but like I said, we will always be honest with our reviews and uh, let you know what the real deal uh, is on them. So with that said, let's take them out and uh, take a look at what these things look like. Run fast and don't stop at the end. You can be All right, now that I have them out, let me give you my quick kind of first impressions of both of them. So I'll say this, the pictures on the website, the video, the whatever, doesn't do them justice. They really are, uh, well, I guess let's first talk about the tires. The tires are Tusk Megabytes. These are 32 15 10s. And like I said, the pictures, they don't, they don't do them justice online. They are a great looking tire. Um, if you're looking for a tire just for looks, they're up there. Um, I've always liked this design on the Tusk tires. They have the same design on the Terabytes. It's a little more exaggerated on this one. Um, a little more noticeable and whatnot. And it really does, really does look great. So I actually have Terabytes on the Talon right now. So in just a second, I'll roll that over there so you can kind of see the difference between the two. My fronts are probably 80%. I, I ride in two wheel drive most of the time. Um, not four-wheel drive just because I'm usually doing trails and stuff uh, And then I just use four-wheel drive when I need it take it out of four-wheel drive when I don't so my fronts are in a lot better shape Than my backs is kind of what I'm getting to so they're about 80 percent 75 80 percent up there So I'll show you what these look like next to a 75 percent 80 percent tusk uh, terabyte as far as the wheels go I think the wheels look great as well. So these are Uintas like I mentioned and uh, this is the option that they had. So right now they were out of stock on a couple options. This is the one I went with um, basically because it was the only one there. It was either this or, well, no, they had two designs. They had this or the straight black. I went the, with the black and milled. And uh, I'm really happy with the look, seeing it here in person. I'm excited to get it uh, uh, put together and mounted and put on the, on the rig and see what it looks like when it's mounted and on the rig and everything. But um, I will say first impression, the wheels look great in person as well. Again, one of those things that looks better uh, in person than it does on camera. Um, one thing I do like about these wheels as well, so they've got black bead locks, or, and I thought about putting, uh, you know, having these powder coated orange or going a different color with them or whatever. Uh, in, in the end, I just decided to stick with black. But what I do like about them is they have, uh, the hardware that they come with is not black hardware. Um, it is, I don't know, galvanized hardware or whatever. So 
you will uh, see the bolts, which I like that. I think it's a cool look to have the, um, the bolts obviously uh, out and uh, not kind of hidden by being black. So anyway, that's the uh, you know first out of the box impressions. We'll go through the mounting process and everything here. I'll kind of set up a time lapse for that. Um, this isn't gonna be a real thorough how to mount beadlock wheels video. Um, although you'll get to see me embarrass myself trying to do that. Um, Tusk uh, and Rocky Mountain, they do have a great video for doing that online. So if you're looking for a exact how to do it, you know, uh, pro tips, I guess you'd say, they have a great um, video on how to do it. We'll link to it down below as well so you can see that. So, um, but again, this kind of first impressions just out of the box. Let's wheel this megabyte over and uh, put it next to a terabyte and see what it looks like. Okay, my, uh, my lighting isn't perfect here, probably on me and uh, on the tires as well, but I wanna get these next to each other so you can see what they look like. I'll put uh, on the screen or here when I pop the tires up, I'll put a uh, lug depth or a tread depth up for you because um, I'm not sure what the tread depth is or the standard tread depth is, depth is on the terabytes. Um, to me, it looks like they're kind of looking at a um, Maxxis Carnivore competitor type deal. Um, spread out pretty well uh, the lugs especially on the sides um, kind of similar to what you'll find with the uh, the Maxxis Carnivore uh, but yeah and then another thing too, keep in mind these tires for those that care and for the most of you you shouldn't really care um, but these are not DOT approved tires so um, if that matters to you again it shouldn't to most of you because most places it doesn't matter um, I know in Arizona and Utah both, you don't have to have DOT, DOT approved tires to get it street legal, but they are not DOT approved tires. Neither are Max's carnivores. So keep that in mind. But yeah, this is what they look like next to it. Like I was sh uh, saying, let me see if I can get some better light on it. This design on the side, the, uh, the X there that goes up into the tread on the side, you can see they're much bigger X's on the side of the uh, megabyte than they are on the terabyte. They're much more exaggerated. Really cool look. Like I said, I think all in all, they are a great, great looking tire. So enough talking about them. Let's, uh, let's get them mounted up. I promise I'll always be here. Okay, beadlocks are always fun, never tedious. Um, yeah, a little bit tedious. 24 bolts times four wheels times do it at least two times. Lots of math, lots of good times, tedious. But first one's done, um, bead set. Um, looks good so far. I want to, uh, with you, do a little test to see if it's sealed. So let's, uh, let's see how good, we uh, how good of a job we did getting the uh, bead lock torqued evenly. See if we have any leaks. Please say no. Let's change that spray pattern a little bit. There you go. No? Looks pretty good so far, guys. I don't see any right there, so to me, I think we're in a good spot. Let's see if we're making on the inside of the bead there. No, I think we're good, man. So we'll let this sit for a while while I do the rest of them and see if it holds air, and uh, maybe we'll be good. Either way, I'm liking the look of it. Can't wait to get these things mounted. Probably won't be able to mount them until tomorrow just because it's late in the evening and, uh, you know, work all day. Only have so much time for projects. So, anyway, I'm gonna set this aside, get going on the rest of them, and uh, yeah, let's see what it looks like when it's mounted up. You can be
right, I've got them all mounted up, as you can see, sitting against the wall, getting ready to put them on the talon. Before I do, I just wanted to do a couple quick tips for when you're uh, putting any bead locks on, but specifically these uh, tusk ones that I got. First, just use an impact driver or whatever else to get things started. Put it on its lowest setting. Um, I guess not an impact driver, I use a drill and just turn it to number one. And uh, um, so I'm not putting a bunch of torque on it, but to get them all started and down, just save you a bit of time. Uh, number two, so when you set your wheels down like this to put your, uh, put your nuts and bolts in, these tusk wheels, and I imagine others, come with this little uh, diagram here that basically tells you which wheel to do when. So, or which number to do when, because you do want to do it in a star pattern. So what I did was take number one here and make this is my number one bolt, corresponds with that, and that is number two. That way, instead of saying, instead of trying to figure out which bolt you are along the way, all you're doing is counting to 20 here um, until you get there. So one, two, three, four, and if you lose your space, you just say, oh yeah, number five, okay, that one's right here. So um, made, it, made it very easy to get them done. Um, a little bit tedious of a job, nothing crazy. Setting beads, there was no difficulty there. Um, just make sure you push it on there good and, or good and firm on the, on the uh, first time when you're pushing the bottom on. Other than that, they're good. All of them are set at 25. Two of them held air at 25 through the night. Um, this one is holding air at 25. Obviously, I'll bring that down substantially when I get them, uh, get them mounted on the talon. Um, I'm probably gonna start at 12 on these to see how they ride and then uh, and I may end up bringing them down to eight or, or so, which is what I normally ride out at with the terabytes. So uh, I'm gonna run and grab some uh, lug nuts because I forgot them. And uh, then we'll get them mounted up with the lug nuts and uh, take a look, see what they look like. All right guys, we are all mounted up. So um, I went ahead and took it for a quick spin and uh, overall I'm certainly, certainly impressed. So I didn't do a ton. Honestly, I have some fields out a, uh, in the neighborhood kind of by where I live. Went and screwed around out in the fields a little bit. Traction feels good, road manners feel good. Um, it, it stayed nice and tight when I was uh, trying to hit corners and stuff like that. Trying to corner well, or corner a lot anyway. Um, one thing I will say, keep this in mind when you're, um, when you're looking at these. Uh, you will get a little bit of rub. I feel like it might be a little bit worse than the terabytes um, and in a different spot than, than the terabytes. So um, they, they do feel like they, I don't know if they measure a little bit bigger. I'll have to, to kind of measure and see, but they kind of feel like they do a little bit. Uh, and they do, did rub a little bit. I wasn't only able to do it once at full turn and kind of in a big rut. Um, kind of full lock, full turn, full bump, all that stuff. Uh, and that's where I got it to rub. Straight line, you know, less than, or a little less than straight or whatever, it was fine. The only time I was able to get it to rub was hard turn one way. Um, I am running five two wheels, so I'm not running the six one stocks. That could make a difference. Um, and then I don't have any wheel spacers or anything else. So uh, a couple things you could do for that, forward A arms, maybe some spacers or different offsets of wheels. But that is just for the talon, the rub on the talon. Any other rig that you can fit 32s on, you should be okay uh, with some 32s on it. Great overall tire, great first impressions. Uh, like I said, road manners are good. Uh, regular off-road manners are good. Traction's good. One thing that drove me a little bit nuts about the terabytes is on trails with like rocks and um, yeah, gravel road, stuff like that. They threw rocks like crazy. Um, these ones don't throw as much rocks because the lug pattern's obviously uh, much bigger. They're more spread apart. So anyway, if you're interested in these tires, go to follow the link below to Rocky Mountain uh, ATV MC. Uh, you'll be able to see them there. We'll link directly to the tires so you can check them out, see what they cost, what, what they fit, or if they have ones that fit for your rig. Same thing with the wheels down below. Also, if you need anything else from Rocky Mountain ATV, uh, then definitely use our link below. Go uh, go over there. You'll be able to get just about anything you need. Doesn't cost you any more to use our links, but it does give us a little bit of a spiff when you do. So uh, a little bit of a commission, I guess you'd call it. So uh, check it out in the links below. Also, we'll be at UTV Takeover here coming up October 21st, somewhere around there. So come say hi if you see us there. We'll be guiding a couple trails. So hopefully maybe we'll be able to uh, ride along with some of you there. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe uh, so you can get all the latest uh, videos that we put out. 
uh, news, information, rides, reviews, DIY, that kind of stuff. So uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and uh, hit the notification bell as well so you get notified when new videos pop out. Guys, that's it for this one. Ride safe, pack out what you pack in and we'll see you on the next one. I used to think that you were